Okay, so today we are going to be talking about combining functions. Our objective for this lesson is for a given function in symbolic form, apply the properties addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, composition, and decomposition. For this lesson in particular, we're going to be discussing what composition means and how to solve it. So composition is the meaning of two functions being composed of one another. So for example, f composed of g of x means that you're gonna be plugging in the g of x values into the x. So this circle here that you see in the f and g and then in the middle of g and f means composed of. It doesn't mean multiplication or any of that. So for example, if we have the f of x function 4x squared minus 12x plus 7, and then you have the function g of x, which is 7x minus 4 under the Vatican, you are going to use for this one in particular, so number one is f composed of g of x. You're going to start with your f of x function, and then for every x, you're going to be plugging in the g of x function. We're going to start off with our equation f composed of g of x. 4, and then now we have an x, so we're going to be replacing the 7x minus 4 under the red account for x. 7x minus 4, and you want to keep your exponent. Then you're going to do minus 12, and we have another x, so we're going to be replacing that with 7x minus 4. And here we don't have an exponent. Then just finish your f of x equation with plus 7. So this is f composed of g of x, which is now 4 with 7x minus 4 under the radicand squared minus 12, 7x minus 4 under the radicand plus 7. This is your new function as f composed of g of x. So for the next part, you're going to be simplifying the equation and you're going to cancel out the square root and the um, radical because this is to the second power and the radical is already squared. So you and then you bring everything down. Gx is equal to, and then you just bring it down. And then you just bring down the rest of the equation. And then for the next step, we're going to distribute, simplify more. You're going to get 28x minus 16, and you just keep bringing this down. So for our next step, we got a new function, f composed of g of x, 28x minus 16 minus 12, 7x minus 4 under the radical plus 7. What we do next for our next step is we take negative 16 and positive 7. We wouldn't subtract negative 16 and negative 12 because negative 12 is a part of the radical. So we wouldn't do that, so we would take the other two numbers that are not from the radical. For our new function, we get f composed of g of x equals 28x minus 12, 7x minus 4 under the radical minus 9. So this is our final answer for this problem in its simplest form. So our next problem would be g composed of f of x. So using the g of x G composed of f of x, so we replace the x values with the f of x, which we got 7 parentheses 4x squared negative 12x 
plus 7 minus 4. Okay, so we're going to simplify this. We are going to distribute the 7. So that would be 28x to the second power. 7 times negative 12x, and we get 84x. And then we get take 7 times 7, and we get 49. Now your new function of g uh, composed of f of x, and then this is our new function, g composed of f of x equals 28x squared minus 84x plus 49 minus 4 all under the radicand. Now we are going to continue simplifying and to do that we are going to be combining like terms. Our like terms here are positive 49 minus 4 so that's going to be 28x squared minus 84x and 49 minus 4 is going to give you 45 and this is all g composed of f of x. So now our new function is g composed of f of x equals 28x squared minus 84x plus 45 all under the radical. Now this is our function in simplest form. If you see we cannot simplify any further so this is actually going to be our final answer. So now we are going to do an example. Not every combining function is going to look like this that we have done. f of x equals x squared minus x and g of x equals x minus 8. We are going to do the f compounds of g of x. Okay, so we're going to put f composed of g of x equals to x minus 8 in parentheses squared. Okay. And then we are going to put minus parentheses x minus 8. But then we are going to factor out x minus 8. Do x minus 8 and then x minus 8. Then we're going to do x times x, which is x to the square. So then we're going to do x times negative 8. So we get minus 8x. And then we're going to do that for the same for the inner term, which we get minus 8x. So negative 8 and eight, um, times negative 8, which we get positive 64. And then we are going to add those, which is um, x squared minus 16x plus 64. And then we are going to bring down this right here. And we are going to distribute the negative to the both terms, x squared minus 16 plus 64 negative x positive 8. We're going to combine like terms. So x squared and then that which is minus 17 and then that 64 and then plus 8 which will be 72. So proper notation will be f composed of g of x is equal to x squared minus 17x plus 72. So this is our final answer with proper notation. Okay, so now we're going to do another example. Instead of the one we did previously, which was f composed of g of x, we're going to do g composed of f of x. Ultimately, it's the same type of problem. It's just the way you substitute your x's are a little bit differently. So first, because the g is in the front, we're going to be using the g of x function. So we're going to start replacing our x's in the g of x with the function of f of x. So here we have 3, then we have an x, so we're going to be replacing this x with the f of x function, which is x2 minus 1. Now, to further complete and simplify this problem, we're going to be distributing the 3 to x squared 
the three to negative one. So it's gonna be three x squared minus three. And this is actually our final answer. So we actually don't have to do anything else here. Write out your final answer with g composed of f of x equals three x squared minus three. Just make sure to always circle or square your problem.